Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot card. These are your Daily Tarot cards for Wednesday, July the 26th, 2023. Today we're pulling from the Enchanted Forest Tarot cards. We have the Seeker of Challenges. This is someone that is only around you because they want material gain. They will purposely stand in your way and block blessings. Anything that is meant to come to you that will help you out, they will block it. They will sit there and, oh, they changed their mind. They will not tell you anything. They will purposely block you from things in your life. They will physically harm you. They will purposely block things from your life. You have a soul tribe. You have an external family. Those are the people that are important. The people that will show up when the times are good and the times are bad. Not when only the time is getting good. So you be wary of this person. And when you find out the truth, when you find out the stories, oh, you know what? Well, we did this, we did that, you know? And, you know, you find out that they actually stood in the way of those blessings coming in. Don't be shocked. Just release. This person has already been, you know, somewhat isolated from your life. There's a reason for it. You may not see it right now, but you will see this. You know, they have the Ten of Boons. You have things to celebrate. You you know, a coming into your tribe. You know, your ancestors and on the physical world. That you have people in your life, ancestors that love you unconditionally and always welcome you. They see your light. They see your love. They know that you're eager to heal. You're eager to share. And as well as learn from them. You don't have an ego. It astonishes a lot of people the fact that you don't sit there and see yourself as this person. You know, that's what keeps you humble. There's a purpose why you're blind to that. You know what I mean? Once you transform and go to the other side of things, of, of what our true self, you will actually see who you are and you know your purpose in this lifetime. Generational uh, breaker, blocker, you know? We have the hermit. So a lot of us are going to go to this deep isolation. This is coming up to the next wave of what is to come. You know, we didn't listen the, the first time. You know, they sat there and, and they hiked up the price of food. We're, we're not, you know, we're not caving, you know. Okay, well, now we're going to go after the kids, you know, just like the other, the Cheeto did. You know, you cut cross, uh, you're not supposed to. We're going to take your kids. So now they're going to go after the kids and be like, oh, that'll, that'll affect them. That'll make them come to their needs. That'll make them, you know, make sense. Because they're trying to get all the money that is on the underground market, all the cash businesses that are out there, they're trying to get rid of them because they're like, well, where's the money? You know, we have this much money, you know, they're trillionaires, billionaires. It's like, are you seriously complaining that you need more money? Like, are you serious? You know, you've right, robbed and pillaged everything and you're still looking for it. You know, having the indigenous people across the world said this, this with the Indian act, they're like, they came for our children. What makes you think they're not going to come for yours? Everybody puts their head in the sand. Oh, it's not mine. So, you know, what does it matter? Well, now they are, you know, if you feel that you want to keep your kids home from school, do the right thing. Listen to your intuition here. Listen to your guts here. They will, oh, well, you know, they're supposed to be, yeah, they are supposed to be in school, but this is going on. Why am I going to expose my kid to something where the hospitals are going to be overrun? The doctors are burnt out. They're still recovering from the last one. So are the nurses. They're all overworked, underpaid, underappreciated. They fired all of them for not getting their quote unquote jabs, you know, so they're going to walk out. Who's going to take care of them? They're going to abandon us. They'll be like, oh, you guys fix it. You know, you watch. You sit there and you get yourself some Gatorade, you get yourself orange juice, you get yourself some ginger ale. Keep it in the house. S chicken soup. Keep it in the house. Don't let anybody use it. That's what's going to help them. Drinking the vitamins, that's the thing. It's like, I know their taste is gone, but they need those essential nutrients in them to break it. They'll, go, they'll come through, you know. Tylenol, Advil. Every six hours, sit there and chop up onions, put on the soles of their feet, you know, wash them to get all, you know, but I'm telling you, keep them out of sporting activities and everything. It's coming. But this isolation is to make us stronger, to sit there and get deeper knowledge. It looks like channel messages because he's got the quill there. He's got some pages, you know, maybe that's why he stopped reading the book or maybe it's learning a new skill, a new trait. You know, I know myself, I've been drawn to Reiki a lot. So it's like, you know, that deeper knowledge and understanding. I've been drawn to the the Egyptian culture. 
a lot in studying that. So it's like, you know, that deeper wisdom, that be deeper understanding. Keep her a vision. You know, I definitely feel deep Pisces energy with these two cards here. And it's like going deeper, that philosopher, that deeper understanding beyond what, you know, the understanding of ABC and one, two, three, you know, that deeper understanding of how to be a human, you know what I mean? How to live this life, how to adult, you know, the things that we're not taught, you know, we got to learn the, the circumference of a circle for six, nine months of the year, you know, in our schooling, but nobody teaches us how to deal with grief. Nobody teaches us how to survive. You know, these are the ways you survive. Because you know how to ABC and one, two, three, but we're falling apart mentally. You know, counselor of animals. This is all about, you know, spirit. This is about our ancestors. I definitely do feel like certain animals are brought into our life to signify certain things, signify certain relatives. You know, I definitely feel like they're shapeshifters, you know, to signal, you know, I saw hawks with, uh, with passings with Shane. There was one in our backyard the week before he passed away. You know, there was one circling over in November. There was, you know, with Junior when he was in school, sat right on the fence and let me take his picture. That was a warning of what was to come, you know? So it's like definitely pay attention and you do what's right. If you feel like this is all hogwash and you want to do what you want to do, that, absolutely you do what you want to do. I'm not here to try to tell anybody to do anything. But I will warn you, you know? And I will not sit there and say, oh, I told you so. No, never. It's like, you know, it's the greed driving the world. So this uh, Seeker of Challenges stands obviously in the forest path. The white raven on the shield of the iron feather on the black armor declare of him to be the Seeker of Challenges. So this is only for the material purpose. Aggressive, forceful, skillful at confrontation. Sharp wit. Loyal in material sense. Can't be bribed. You know, it's like this person is not there for you. And it's, you know, it's a hard thing to hear, but you have to realize that. That's why they're being removed from your life, you know? They were saying that yesterday. People at places, things are being removed from your life for a reason, because they were never meant to be there in the first place. So let them go. It's hard sometimes, but it's like you have to, you know, realize that they're not meant to be there. Ten of Boons, they're talking about, like, you know... Kind of going through isolation, they talk about, you know, walking through the forest, you're tired, you know, you're seeking that light, you know. For me, seeking that light, especially after Shane passed, I was in that darkness, seeking that light, for me, was, uh, you know, the Hebrew faith, you know. Breaking a bread, this is very much like Shabbat, or Passover, or, you know what I mean? So, it's like you find this hall full of laughter and light, you know, you're able to break bread with them. So they're like, you will find that tribe that will be there for you unconditionally. That will sit there and love you and care for you. And, you know, want to be in your company and not want anything in return. It's, you know, it's not because they think like, oh, I'm around them. Like, you know, I could get, I, no. It's like, you know, it's kind of like a potluck. You know, someone brings stew, someone brings bread, someone brings their dessert. Community is the basic human need, one that sadly has gotten away from us in the modern times. This card says that your tribe, your clan, your kin await your arrival, or perhaps you are the welcoming one, and the gathering hall is right where you are. At, at least of the boon cards, the ten reminds us that the greatest boons of all is like-minded fellows who stand by you in good times and bad. You know, because it's like, you know, not, not every day is going to be a ball of roses. You know, even if your day is like <laughs> today, oh my goodness, I just couldn't get the alarm to disarm and oh my word, it was a nightmare. Thank God nothing happened, but it's just like, uh, you know, I'm just glad it all worked out, but it's just like, what a headache, you know, for that stupid thing to be going off, but it's not stupid. It's just, <laughs> uh, technology, you know? A warm welcome, community, hospitality, kinder, and extended family. You know, I'm very lucky that, you know, I came across some families in my life and they are like my brothers. You know, I love their children. It's just, you know, I'm very lucky. My kids are very lucky to have people that care for them so much. You know, even when they were, they were very young when they came across them, but it's just like, they always ask about them. They wish them happy birthday. Like, you know what I mean? Like, we always share a family. Like, we're all, everybody's freaking busy right now. You know what I mean? Kids, some kids are starting up school. Some kids, you know what I mean? Everybody's doing something. You know, sports, you know, this, that, and the other. But it's just like, you know, 
here and there we send like you know photos and and see how everybody's doing and stuff like that we love it so the keeper of visions this card doesn't represent a particular person it can mean a time of withdrawal from emotional turmoil and seeking peace this situation may benefit from meditation contemplative rather than active calm wise compassionate not easily frustrated charitable emotionally stable faithful in love you know maybe that's who like you're you're seeking a partner is someone that will um stand by your side oh i overlooked the badger oops so with the hermit card here this is where i was talking about the fall time but it's like you know going deep within you know chosen to live in solitude and avoid daily distractions he is um a mon a moto tasker given his full attention to each of his many pursuits and he in turn he advises you to do the same make time to take to take the, the space to enjoy your whole your own company with it with uh without interruption take control of your interactions with others don't let them badger you so this is the biggest thing as a healer is that you know yeah most of the time you know some of us are very lucky that this is our own um our whole uh life this is like you know we're able to do this full time which is an amazing blessing in itself you know um but it's just like sometimes it's like you know some of us have to work two jobs you know what i mean like we it's not even so much a job when you heal like you know what i mean like sometimes it can feel tedious but it's just like you know you push through because this is your passion like i always look forward to daily cards because i'm like what are they gonna say how does it relate to me you know what i mean sometimes it doesn't relate to me at all and it relates to so many others and i'm just like that's amazing you know when i get the messages the dms and stuff you know but you know I feel like it's just like, you know, transforming and going deeper into who you are. I feel like the fall time, especially because of the solitude and the lockdowns, it's like an opportunity again to sit there and go deeper, you know? Solitude, a, a preference for home over society, study, per, uh, perseverance, a time of uh, depending. Of deepening, excuse me, a time of deepening. You know, but you do, you look on the shelves, you see the books, you see the herb, the, the, the bull to her, crush herbs and spices. You see some potions, you see the quill. <coughs> I love that. It's like, you know, um, channel messages, freehand as uh, some would call it, you know, and it's just like deepening your understanding and everything. You know, you're never, don't ever think that because you've, you know, you've learned something that you, you can't go deeper with it. The Council of Animals. This is the world card, you know? And this is where I feel like it's the end of, like, um, solitude and the end of, uh, like, I feel like more external family coming in. But I feel like it's like you will also still choose that, that, that uh, solitude life. You know, once you go through it and you make peace of, like, being, like, watching movies and laughing and, like, you're in your own company, like... You, you, you crave it more and more. When you are called before the council of animals, it is a sign that you are ready to face some tough truths. And I feel like this is what the tough truth will be here. Stand, people st physically standing in your way to block you from moving forward. You may begin to see a new purpose in your life. At the very least, you will become to know yourself better. Today, warrants of all. For, uh, for, um, so they're saying for more help, you can see like a deeper spread, but judgment, assignment, assessment, self-awareness, forgiveness, atonement, enlightenment, you know, you definitely get those, like, especially those major animals for me, the owl, the hawk, the crow, you know, bears, I've definitely seen foxes. We have, uh, brown hairs around us, you know badger i feel like it's a solitude i feel like it's like all that combination of like wisdom and and discipline you know and definitely healing is a discipline you know i've mentored some people and it's just like they are like after five six weeks they're like oh my gosh i'm like i know it's a lot i'm like your body is getting used to physically exerting itself you know what i mean without actually doing anything well it is doing something but it's just like the best way I could describe it is going kind of daydreaming, but
but it's like you your your hearing is like inward like you're instead of hearing what's around you you're in that channel message that's why i was telling my kids don't bug me when i'm doing channel messages you know because i'm concentrating right now i can't concentrate if you come in and interrupt me you know so i saw i put myself in solitude when i do readings because it's just like i want to pay attention to what spirit is telling me my energy is pulled towards my kids because they're my kids. So I'm just like, let me be in solitude. Let me get the messages that I need to. Let me do my reading and then I'll hang out with you. Because if, when I'm in solitude, I'm able to hear and see everything that they, they need to tell me in that time. Because there's really potent information there. Allows their loved ones to come in. You know, when they give them that space, that platform for them to come in and tell, you know, their loved one what they need to. You know, so it's just... Just be careful with yourself. Watch your energy. You know, once you're done, definitely sit there and relax. Call all your energy back to yourself, you know, and make sure you're taking care of yourself and nurturing yourself so that way you can recover and then go on to your next, you know. You be, you be careful and watch your energy, who you give it to, especially especially this one. You need to start uh, cutting strings with that one. So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Wednesday, July the 26th, 2023. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.